We thank the Lord this evening as He has been gracious unto us. In that manner, we're going to read in our Bible. I was saying before we can read, let us uh, pray. Let us look into our Bibles in the book of Exodus, chapter 17. And then we'll read from verse 1 to 7. And then we'll just see what he has for us. And all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin. After they are genius, according to the commandment of the Lord, and pitched in Raphidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the children did chide, chide with Moses, and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people murmured against Moses, and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us out of, the, out of Egypt, to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto these people? They be almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thine hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. Master, 
le mariba meleko le kham ka bakala khang ya ba israel ba e tsushiti go le ka ba le le ka ge ba le kile morena ba re mo hlomo morena ga mo gagarena and he called the name of the place mesa and meriba because of the children of because of uh, chiding of the children of Israel and because they turned the Lord saying is the Lord amongst us or not we are thankful God bless us therefore we just say let us continue with our subject talking about the spiritual warfare but looking at uh, the title supporting your spiritual leader and then will and commune there so that we can see at what direction life is pointing us at. because a war is there in this world and uh, when we see it that it is there and then, then we act as if we do not see it in the conditions of life we have trials and challenges that we come across and uh, in fact this trial their aim is to knock us down and then uh, but as children of God, what we have to know is to stand with the word of God. Because other than the word of God, there is nothing that we'll be able to do. That shows us that each and every one, the one who enters at the wall, he or she must have a position that he she stand in. And then uh, must know who you really are. And then uh, and also know your opponent. A lot of people in life they are looking at the physical war. And then uh, but they fail to look at the spiritual war. They are kind of wars in this world but the greatest battle the greatest one is the one that we are talking about here the spiritual warfare because when it is a, a, a busy fighting there is no one seeing the other and then even the one that you see at uh, you don't see a time even the one that you are fighting against at time you don't see it what is required that if you are a child of God you must know your position because the prophet teaches us that the greatest enemy the one that is here in this earth it is yourself and again yourself you must overcome yourself should you overcome yourself you will be able to overcome the one you are fighting against because you yourself you already overcame yourself Amen so looking from where we have read we are talking about the war that is there but the war if you can check it is, is the physical one because when you talk about the Israelites we are not talking about the spiritual Israelites we are talking about the physical Israelites talking about Moses we're talking about the physical men. And then when you talk of Egypt, we're talking about the physical Egypt. But this war, the one that is fought by the Israelites and the Amalekites, that shows us a battle on the side of spirit. That when you fight on the side of spirit, how can we fight? And then, but 
but we learn on the side of a, a, a physical ones. Amen. Looking here, uh, Moses, Moses, he took out the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt along their way. And then you have seen their, their, their tribes, they passed the Red Sea, they did all things, and then they seen the power of God. But the danger that was there, they were able to see the power of God, but failing to, to shake their hearts. They were supposed to reach a point where they are convinced, but they failed to reach that uh, place. There is this kind of people in, in, the, in life, they are able to see the power of God. God is able to heal them. God is able to give uh, this and that. But afterwards, they don't see the power of God. When you tell God, day by day you must see the power of God. The Israelites, along their journey, they reach a point where they, were, they did not have water. And then, but this happened in a, with the purpose so that God can see that the Israelites do they believe him or not or they're just following Moses so when they were in need of water we hear them being against Moses when they are against Moses Moses when he answered to them, why you chide against me? Because I, even him who was looking unto the Lord, but he said, What are you are doing? You, you turned to the Lord. Sometimes you know God. When you fight against Moses, you might think that you are fighting against Moses. As a person that you used to, or maybe the one that you are living with. But what remains, when Moses starts to take a step to stand where God has told him to step out, he requires that when a child of God, you must try to check things very carefully. Start to check that this Moses isn't the Moses that I'm used to. I must know that the position that he is in is not his position. It's the position of God. I must respect that position. Moses, when they start to fight against him, Moses, he started to tell them that he turned the Lord. But the thing is that the, 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 the Israelites was, were suffering from thirst and then in the manner that they were. That's how they start to fast against Moses. Uh, they, are, they are talking here. They say you taken us out of the land of Egypt. And then want us to suffer from thirst and then even our cattle. What is the children of God? Israel. Israel. The more it the more it fights against Moses. the more it will suffer. Is the more it will suffer. When people are not watchful of the men of leadership, and then they will suffer their the entire life because they are not careful. But when we look here. I'm talking about supporting your spiritual leaders. And then uh, support when you're supporting that condition, le, 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 but, but support. even those leaders they have to support you. Moses, Moses support by Israel. must support the Israelites. And by Israel, in return, the Israelites must, support, uh, Moses. must also support Moses. But, 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 but,
So that the program of God can proceed. The purpose of God cannot go forward. Because there is no one supporting the other. But we see the one supporting the other working on this on the own one side. We see Moses the one supporting the Israelites. If you can change. There is no one who has fought than the one who said to be a leader. A leader. Everywhere people are, a leader is the one with many faults. All these people building there, they are not at fault. They are all right. I'm saying this because Moses, the Israelites, they are fighting against Moses. They are fighting against him because they found fault at him. That means them. They have no fault. They even think of returning to Egypt. They don't know that that matter. The one that they say this way, they are displeasing God. Because God has taken them out of the land of Egypt. His aim was to make them rich kings. But them in the wilderness, they just started their own matter. They start to fight against the servant of God. It's not that that matter uh, perishes that, that day. Even today it's still that way. People are busy fighting. People are busy going up and down. But if you can check what they are fussing about, it's just that Satan. You just want to drag people back so that they cannot stand by with the word of God. So when you check here, when Moses was crying, you say, God, you see this, this people, they will stone me. And then God said to him, Stand before them. And then when you're standing before them, and then and continue. And take thy rod. And then the one that you smote the river with and hold it by your hand. And you walk. Over oh, number six. Reading verse six. Oh, 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 oh. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock. You see what's happening. Moses. He has something that he will see. Know that as a leader. Him what he sees. You'll find that it's not the same thing as the congregation Because God has a way of working. He's working through Moses. He cannot work through all of us. He has a person that is working. He takes all the things and pour them onto Moses. And Moses, and Moses it depends whether he gets support from the government. If he does not get the support, when the Israel does not support Moses, it, more, it means that it is uh, it is now prepared to, to suffer in the whole life. It will suffer. And then he support again. Suffering because of one condition. Because it fails to realize what Moses is. Just trying to advise one another. The children of God. There is a war. In our world. There are a lot of battles. People are going up and down. Our parliament. When they are in the meeting, you see them, they are fighting. They are pointing each other with fingers. There is no one who wants to humble himself. When you are looking outside, you find that people are fighting. When you enter the families, the families are fighting. Trying to get inside the church. The church are also fighting. This thing is a sign to show that we are in the war. And the war that is fought there is a spiritual war. The one that we see, the physical war. 
what why no more uh, the parliament that like people are fighting the parliament by Bahamala fighting in the families give, give a shoe for fair that is just a sign so when shall to show that in the spirit when i didn't drum for there is this kind of no when i got to and the government there is a person who is watching and then i level the lobo so that it can uh, observe things very so carefully. that they can see what god is so god says to moses was on born i get him up more pillar how more i will stand before thee and then the glimmer is there upon the rock so moses when he comes there the israelites if they can be against and him and then they are not when he's walking oh now born or more control the people and they are not able to see that the one that I was talking to is right and there. Then you find that they see I want to get Moses fair. Moses alone is the one. Yeah, the one Moses are fit. You just see Moses when he arrives. And he just stopped there. And tomorrow when I got married how to work his way. And then you smell and come it. And the rock will bring forth water. And then about what tomorrow no people they start drinking. The rule was on the job. Even their flocks will drink. And then you are drinking about one child. But what I want to show you is there. Eh I I I was telling them here. Let us reach a point. Laur Moshe that most we must look at him very carefully when you look at him they say this thing it happened when Moses called upon the elders of Israel sitting there watching when they were there this thing did not convince them when they were there they were able to see the power of God they were able to see this that this thing cannot be done by Moses. They are done by God. But after Moses, their their job is just to uh, to curse Moses. But when they are busy cursing Moses, they are creating problem for themselves. They reach a point to suffer. To suffer. But suffering because they don't respect the man of Moses is angry. Amen. And then. And Moses named that place. And then when they were busy fighting against Moses. No, that's wrong. When people are busy pushing one another. Being a congregation and Moses. But they reach a condition. That when they are busy pushing one another. They reach a point. That the Amalekites. They find a space and then south there to enter. Because they've seen that these people themselves they are not in they are not in union. So Moses by Israel and the Israelites. Even Moses tried to humble himself because the Bible says Moses he he humbled himself. He was a righteous man in the manner that he was just Israel. It failed to work with him. And then what fitel up until he it made him to Good. do a uh, fault. That's how people are. But people when they live with you, or they do things with you. Their aims is to make you to do wrong things so that you can be in danger. Them remain seems as if they are right. But let us look at Israel. Israel, even if it fights against Moses, it reaches a point where God sees that these people uh, towards me and then enough is enough. The thing that I can do you know, just to open up the earth and they enter inside because they don't respect my leader. Everything that I say, everything that I do with Moses towards them is nothing. Something is what they are thinking, something is what they are doing, something is what they gossip about. When they are in charge, they are shares. And then the Or they are changed. They are talking evil about Moses. There is nothing good they can talk about. About Moses. So these people are trying to make them suffer, but they hear not. So the better. I should bury them. Even today, the of God. The condition is still that way. Because the Bible says, the journey of the Israel types out. 
Should it be similar to the ones of Moses? Uh, uh, in the manner of Bethlehem. Uh, it means even today because things are happening in the spirit. It means we have a lot of grace of people who are dead. Those God has killed. Amen. When we check, we will read going from verse 8. You see the Amalekites. When they looked at the Israelites, then they, they, they entered there. And then Moshe, verse 9, Moshe, Alayla, Joshua, Retaule, Lebanna, Uche, Uchava, Neleba, Amalek, Busa, Sagitlo, Emma, Tling, Yataba, Yataba, and then Gishwere, Lepara, Lamudi. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek, and Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Looking here, Moses is talking to Joshua. The better that you can do, choose out men. When you go into the war, not everyone goes to a war. They were supposed to be to have men who go to the war. Joshua. With the Jesu. The one that will support the purpose of God. But should it be many people here? Others just uh, to add the number. They are not the ones to go to the wall. Because inside them, they do not have the If you can look at uh, Moses, he told Joshua that. Choose us out men and then and those men so that they can go to the war. And Joshua. I believe that Joshua with the leading of the Holy Spirit. He cannot choose for the likes of God and nature. Because those men when you say that you you put the right front line, you find that those men they stand still. Or you find those men uh, 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 Lead away. So Joshua, I believe that Joshua is supposed to do things being led by the Holy Spirit. When the Spirit of God led him, it will give him the right men to fight in the battle. When they were going to the war, Moses also, he does not sit and say it is over because uh, the, 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 the soldiers went to the war. So even here, he said Moses and Aaron and Hur, they went to the top of the hill. And then upon their arrival, verse 11, verse 11. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand. Uh, that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hands, Amalek prevailed. You see, children, when Moses held up his hand, and then by Israel, Israel prevailed. But when he let down his hand, the the Amalek the the Israelites will be defeated. Uh, defeated by the the Amalek. Amen. In all the conditions, in all the Moses. He needed support. And then should he get support? And then Israel You will see Israel prevailing. But should he lack support? Even him is a 
hapa he gets tired he has the his problems but in all the conditions it requires men who will support him it requires women who will pray with him so that this man because he is our leader forward we go we are not retreating but when people should they sit wherever they are you find them they talk about Moses even if Moses is inside trouble but they are busy increasing the problems so that I say it cannot please God it will make them others will suffer Amen when you look at them verse 12 verse 12 ana alapa ba tia le shuka ba ba le bea ka tlase ga gago a ru a rula go lona a rone le huri ba thega matso a gagwe e mongwe le e mongwe a swere ka thopo ya gago matso a gagwe a tlwa a o tlulugile la ba la dikela but moses hands were heavy and and they took a stone and put it under him and he said there on and Aaron and Hur stayed uh, stayed up his hands, the one on the other, on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hand was steady until the going down of the sun. And then he came to level motion. If you can look at Moses, when he raised his hands, uh, Israel is Israel prevailed. But should he lay down his hand, the Amalekites will prevail. So this, it requires uh, these people to work together. That when Joshua get the weight, that when Joshua uh, gives Moses the weight, that we are prevailing. It is because Moses would have uh, raised his hand. But if, Mo if Moses can get the weight, and then uh, you find that the, 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 the condition is not right. That thing, it makes the uh, Joshua, Joshua to realize very well that up there, it means Moses, his hands are down. So there were men there. It was Aaron and Hor. When they were there, they have seen that this, this condition, we can not leave it and alone. Support. We must support it. And then he support when we support it, when, when Moses is still raising his head, looking at him, they see that this man, he is tired. He is in need of our support. They, they gave him stone and he said there, oh, again, <laughs> they taken his hands. God bless us. And then when we are looking at him, after he said they all, Aaron and Hur stayed up his hand. They took his hand. They stayed them so that they can remain rising like that. So that the battle can be prevailed. So when they put his hand, even them, they are human beings, they might get tired. But they must endure. As Moses is endure. That thing, it happened the whole day. Just think of this, uh, raising your hand the whole day, because of uh, other people like and the very same people, the one that you are crying for, they care not about you. That's the same thing of God. in life, people are doing. You might do things in of God. you might get tired, you do all the things, you go up and down, sitting down watching, they say it is his responsibility. Even the Israelites say is, is his responsibility. They are not even thankful that this man here he, he has uh, put a lot of things away from him just to help us. Here he is here. Two men and they supported him so that the purpose of God can go forward. And then Joshua Joshua also in the bedroom. When you 
when he overcame the Amalekites, he understood very well that they, those men, they are supporting the servant of God. As long as they are supporting the servant of God, it means that this battle will prevail. Amen. Amen. Verse 13. Verse 13. Joshua Abba Fenya Abba Fenya Amalek Le Madira Bona Kabu Khan Valeru and Joshua discomfited Amalekite and his people with the edge of the sword. But Marana Ubuja Musha Ditabaji Dimwale Pugu or Disney Levar or Om me Joshua O Moja Ali Kushisha or Lina Lava Amalek Litobala Litoba Ka and the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an, an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. For he said, Because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will, ha will have war with the Amalek from generation to generation. So this condition is teaching of God. The Amalekites, they will be there. They will also be be there. It's not just people who will die and perish. I was in the very same spirit. Let us watch it. So that in our time, is there support? And then, if there is no support, it means that there's still a problem. The, problem, uh, the prophet was there. All the things were there. The thing that God's point has end, they are there. We are watching them. We also have the enemies. That the things that God has said here are God bless them. People are able to worship while they are fighting against their prophet. Because Moses was their prophet. But they were able to fight against him. People are able to fight against their enemies. The one who is ordained by God. So myself, I was saying to you. If they find that there is the spirit, the spirit of fighting against the leadership, and then this thing of God, it will kill us up front. That's the thing people must be watching. Moses, he needed a support like I said from the Israelites. They were sitting there and then and fight against him. They say he does not do things like while they fail to do that right. Today, children of God, people are failing. But in the manner that they are failing, they are unable to realize that Satan but by all he just make people to fight against each other so that they cannot continue with the word of God. Even today, to put it in its level, God, in each and every church, he has put a, he has ordained a pastor. And then in the condition that might be there in people, all people, the whole world, the one that they are fighting against is that one. People are against that one. But my question is that why did they put him there? Why don't they just ordain themselves and continue with the way. Because uh, the coming of people here, or uh, the coming of us we did not just come just to put each other on the chairs. We are just here to worship God. But what comes out of the blue? It just comes because God allowed it to be there. But what we must realize is the responsibilities of God. 
when you see God ordaining you, that this man he should lead you. He might seem as if he's uh, he, uh, some rat, or maybe sometimes you don't like him. But in the manner that he's seen, he's how God has been. So that condition is not good. We must be watching God and know what we are. I'm saying this because of the God, man of Moses. Moses. That Moses, he needed support. Men supported him. But only two. Because what Moses was saying is what they also see. Many times you are leader. If he has something that he is doing, it means that even yourself you must see like him. We are talking about a man filled with the spirit of the Holy Spirit. There is a leadership. The one that he does not have the spirit of God. And there is a leadership that is filled with the spirit of God. If you are filled with the spirit of God, waking up, waking uh, with the power of the spirit of God, doing things according to the word of God, you are still a beast. You want to chow him and slaughter him. That condition is not the one that God talks about. Uh, talks it requires a spirit of God. Uh, uh, the humble, uh, humble one. The one that continues with the spirit of God. Amen. So when you look at the Israelites, when they were busy fighting, doing all the things, they were opening up the space for the power the, of the, the, the enemy. That the enemy should enter. And the enemy is not there. When the enemy is entered, when is, uh, uh, things get difficult, he wanted the very same man when the was giving you an example. No. When uh, the serpent was b- uh, b- uh, biting them, at the end, they cried upon Moses. God has spoken to Moses. Say this condition for them to, be, to get help. You, Moses, make, uh, make up a, a, a brass serpent. But he's not talking to Dora in a quarantine. He was talking to the children of God. But the legs of quarantine. What killed him there is pride. Pride is the one that kills people. They are fighting against me. They are filled with pride. A child of God. When we say you are a child of God, the one who often needs calling. So when they have pride, Looking at the Red Sea. Now they're crying upon Moses. That is how it is. But all people everywhere. When they have problems, they know where they should go. When they want to fight. When they want to fight. They, they know the place where they must go and fight. So a child of God. When they say that you are filled with the Spirit of God, is the one who is able to see what his leader. Joshua, Joshua was able to see what Moses see. If Moses was free, he does not even cross He just rides and accomplish what Moses had When Aaron was looking, and who are you looking? They just sit there with their, uh, with their vision. And then they are able to see that now this man is in need of our help. Look on, Today, children of God, our, our leaders are in need of our prayers. The prayers of the children of God, the of God is there. they are always praying. But a lot of people, they are relaxing, they don't even have problems. Amen. Let us end by saying, let us do things the right way so that we can continue. And then, all the world, we when you can, if you check, they say Aaron and Ur. They did not run away, fleeing and uh, climbing up the mountain. They've seen that our condition for us to be here is to support the servant of God. Because when we when we support the servant of God, God will support us. And then He supports our 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 flocks. And then Everything that is of ours, even our children. 
all the things that is of God, uh, they will be under the control of the spirit of God. Because of God, because we are, we are, we are supporting this man, and he's a leader. He is not educated. Moses, at least, he was educated. But God has plucked everything out and reached a point of heading the ship. The very same that man. He is in need of the support. Amen. Men were able to listen to him. If you fail to listen to him, you wouldn't prevail. Amen. So the condition that is there was just there. Let us be watchful of the condition. The condition of worship. I know that the, 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 the journey of the Israelites it types out today the old world when you go this side and then uh, uh, pastors when you go this side the, the pastor are talking uh, this way about him and then, when you try to ask that have you prayed for him have you prayed with him no one will answer you just say he is bald-headed at that point. but if you try to check the, the, the other one who is bald-headed you find he's the one who is so when the child requires you to stand away and pray God that God should help us. God bless us. Let us continue to of God and know very well that our leadership ways one day the Lord will continue. God bless us. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Wana <laughs> kawo khushi ramata wohle go thega tate e e ba ita pele bana ba semo ya mure khushi tate ramata wohle re go pela mata tate ya gore ka dina go ka moka khushi re re ba lebelela mure re ba bona bela ka ba ita pele khushi ya ka re ba hlompe tate khushi ya ka re ba rata mure ka ba ne tate dintlo la le ruta gore khushi ya ka re tsana tjo rata na seng sa rena khushi mo rena modimo a ona motho yo khushi tate ramata wohle ka thaga motho yo mongwe ya sa morata mure ka moka go shia ka di thoma mo le nna rata go shia ka go mmitsa ja gato ya pele mo reng re thushe tate go shia go go hle tate ba ba theletse mo la ja go go shima rena modimo le ba ba sa ikweleng a botse go shia ka ba lebelela ka botho mo reng mo jwa rena go go shia tate ra matla o tshomo lebelela ka botho matla a tshile mo go yena go shi re papa go shia di nako nga moka ma le sekutlong go shia ka mo etela go shima rena modimo mo fe bo hlale le gona go shia ka o eta ba rwa le ba re di ba ha o pele mo reng kalina mara na Jesu Kristo go shia ka motho fa tsena le bala pala ha e go shima rena modimo le bo botlhe go shia ka ba tshedi tshe mola jo go shia ka ba tsho fa tshe mure bo ba sa ikweleng ga botse mo mebeleng go shia ka ba fodishe tate go shira matla wohle ka o ba ne lentjula o tate ke go phelo mure ba go shia ka ba e bo ikhonela le ka mara mathata go shia ka ba rarolela ona go shima rena ba o bone yela ka mure nela mo phulisho ba na mo mapelo nga bona mure tshe ka moka tate go shia ka re ya le bo wa papa re ga fela motsonga ha Let's have our vimela, Lina Lele Pelamar, and Jesus Christ, and Yalebua. Amen. Amen.